my young friends and welcome to Upside in Soft. Today, I will teach you how to make a maze game in Scratchonia. Let's have a look at the demo. Pretty fun game, isn't it? So let's begin. Tap on Scratch Junior on your tablets. Tap on Home. Tap on Plus to start a new project. We don't need the cat, so let's get rid of it by keeping a finger on it and then tapping on the cross. Now the maze through which our frog has to go through is also a character, just like the frog. So tap on Plus and then tap on the paintbrush and we are going to draw a maze. So choose the square button and then choose the color that you want and then draw a big square, okay? And we are going to draw the walls inside this maze using the square button too because that's the trick to draw straight lines. That is, you try to draw a rectangle but keep the sides together so it becomes one thick line like this. And when you're done with it, tap on the tick mark. You will see that our maze looks pretty small on the actual game screen. So how to make it bigger? Use the purple look blocks and get this grow block and tap on it twice. So this is a good size, okay? Now give it a good position because we need to put some arrows here. For moving our frog okay now get rid of this grow block by throwing it up now tap on the plus button to add our frog character choose it from here and then tap on tick now this is pretty big for our maze so we need to make this now smaller so use this shrink block bring it down tap on it a few times until it is the smallest okay so i tapped on it four times and then get rid of this make smaller block that is the shrink block and then give the frog a good starting position so i think this is a pretty good position for the frog now let's add the fly tap on plus choose the fly tap on tick mark give it a good position somewhere here and then again we need to make it smaller so use the shrink block tap on it a few times Okay, until it is the smallest, then get rid of the shrink block. Okay, now we need to add arrow buttons and those are characters too. So we need to draw those characters. So tap on plus, tap on draw, the paintbrush button and then let's choose a color for our arrows. So how about we make them green and then use the triangle and then let's draw first the up arrow so we need to draw a rectangle so use the square tool to draw a rectangle and then give it a fill by dragging your finger until it touches the line and then when the dashed lines shows then take your finger up so that it is filled with the color so do the same thing here okay so this is our up arrow let's make it small so again the shrink block tap on it i think i tapped on it three times so this is good now get rid of it and then we need to add the down arrow so again tap on plus but we can reuse our drawing so tap on it and then tap on the paintbrush 
and we just need to rotate it this triangle so that it points down so how to do that choose this rotation button tap on it and then tap on this arrow and then drag your finger to rotate it like this and now we need to bring it down by using that arrow selection button so give it the right position so this looks like a down arrow so tap on the tick mark give it a position somewhere here and then use the shrink block to make this small too okay and then get rid of it okay again tap on plus tap on one of these arrows tap on paintbrush and we are going to now change this into a right arrow so again rotation button to rotate it to rotate the rectangle too and then selection arrow button then give it a position so that it looks like a right arrow again tick mark bring it here make it smaller this so this is good again plus choose the right arrow paintbrush rotate it like this and then select it using the arrow button and bring it here okay so left arrow done and then tick mark give it position here and then make it smaller one two three like this so this is done now get rid of this shrink block and from the right arrow too so now we are going to actually make the script for these arrow buttons so when the up arrow is tapped like here we want to send a message to our frog character that he needs to go up okay so how to do that so choose the up arrow and then use the yellow start on tap block and then send a message so i am going to send a purple message for the up arrow okay and i have I'm going to send a different colored message for each of these arrows okay so i'm sending a purple for the up arrow and then i'm going to end the script and i can actually duplicate this script by dragging it to my down arrow now inside my down arrow i just need to change the color so for the down arrow i'm going to choose a green colored message again drag it to the right arrow and for the right arrow i am going to choose a blue message okay and then i'm going to drag it to my left arrow and for the left arrow i'm going to choose a red message so check for up i'm sending a purple message for the down arrow i'm sending a blue message for the right arrow i'm sending a green message and for the left arrow i'm sending a red message okay now let's work on our frog that what should it do when it receives all these different colored messages so tap on the frog and now get the start on message block so it will be getting a message and we are going to say that it gets the purple message so when it gets a purple message which we know that it will be sent by the up arrow we should make it go up and then end the script okay now same code again start on message choose now green and it should go down and then close again start on message now choose blue and it should go right because remember the blue message is sent by the right arrow and then close it and what's left the left arrow so the left arrow 
actually sends a red message. So left, move left and then the ending gap. So now let's try the code. Okay, so you can see that this is nice. Oh, what did I do? I think I made a mistake somewhere. So let's figure that out. There's a bug in our game. So let's see, the up arrow was sending a purple message. The down arrow was sending actually a blue message. Oh, I mixed that up. So let me fix my code. Let's go to the frog, okay? And in the frog, the green one should be right, okay? So sorry for that. So green, right, blue, down, okay? So let's try it now. So up, up, right, right, left, left, down, down. Okay, so this is fine now. Let's give it its original position back. Now, we are still within the frog. Get the yellow start on bump block because this will happen if our frog hits a wall of the maze. So get that block and when it hits a wall, we want it to go back to its original starting position. So how to do that from the blue blocks, get this block, which is the go home block. So it will take it back to its starting position when the game was started and then end the script. Now we need a winning game screen. So tap on plus to add a new screen we should get rid of the cat from here too and then tap on the background so let's choose this lake view and then let's add a message you win okay and let's make it white and very very big and then bring it down somewhere here, okay? So now go back to your maze screen where the maze character was and then choose the fly, okay? And the fly, the simple quote for it is that when something bumps into the fly, we should go to the winning screen because we know that the only thing that will bump into the fly is the frog. So this means that the frog has reached the fly. So we need to take the player, the game player to the winning screen. So yellow, start on bump block and then from the red blocks, we go to the screen block, okay? Lastly, let's add some fun element to our maze character that when something bumps into it, which is definitely the frog, it's going to protest. It's going to say, don't bump into me. Hey, don't bump into me, okay? So this is done. So let's try it now, okay? If I go up, if I go down, I go, oh, See, give me the message. Now, this is not the correct way, so I need to. Oh, I was too fast. I was trying to reach my fly too quickly. Ah, so this is done. And see, it was such a cute game that you can make and play with your friends. I hope you like this video and do press the like button and share it with your friends and also press the subscribe button so that you don't miss the cool projects that I've planned for you. Thank you for watching. Have a fun-filled day. Bye-bye.